Hey friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Photos revealed by NASA could prove that there's a life on Mars. The photographs showed what appears to be fungi on the red planet, therefore proving that Mars could in fact be home to some forms of life. The theory comes from microbiologist Dr. Zin Li Wei from Chinese Academy of Sciences, astrophysicist Dr. Rudolf Skild from Howard Smithsonian and Dr. Ron Gabriel Joseph after studying NASA's Curiosity rover images. They have dubbed the odd-looking specimen as a type of mushrooms, Mail Online reports. Describing the appearance of the mushroom as being like puffballs, the scientists wrote in the study. Fungi thrive in radiation-intense environments. Sequential photos document that fungus-like Martian specimens emerge from the soil and increase in size, including those resembling puffballs, Basidiomycota, after obliteration of spherical specimen by the rover wheels, new sphericals, some with stalks appeared atop the crest of old tracks. This fungi then changes and grows along with Mars season and is believed to grow up to a staggering 300 meters in the spring, but will disappear by the time winter comes round. Leading on from this, scientists believe that this may represent massive colonies of black fungi, molds, lichens, algae, methanogens, and sulfur-reducing species. Comparative statistical analysis found that nine spherical specimens believed to be the so-called puffballs emerged from beneath the soil. They were also found to have moved closer together over time. In regards to how this proved that there could be life on Mars, the trio went on to explain, all the similarities in morphology are not proof of life. Growth, movement, and changes in shape and location constitute behavior and support the hypothesis there is life on Mars. Upon the discovery of fungus on Mars, it hasn't just opened up the possibility of life on the planet, it also opened the possibility of buildings there being made out of it. Last year, NASA announced that it was exploring technologies that could see people future homes on the red planet being made of the organisms. Lynn Rothschild, the principal investigator on NASA's microarchitecture project, said at the time, Right now, traditional habitat designs for Mars are like a turtle, carrying our homes with us on our backs, a reliable plan but with huge energy costs. Instead, we can harness mycelia to grow these habitats ourselves when we get there. Thank you so much for watching guys. Please like, share and subscribe. And don't forget to press the bell icon for more updates.